Good morning. This quick little video here is to give you a couple helpful hints and reminders about the assignment itself, and then also how to submit it on turnitin.com, which we have not used in a while. So when you are in your Google Classroom, it should look something like this. You will also have the link up above to this video, but then you should have the assignment, the Boy in the Striped Pajamas movie analysis. Your link will look a little bit different. It will have the um, assignment links itself and the description underneath it that kind of looks like this. The instructions here, and then you've got your three links. The assignment itself, which you will be typing on and then submitting. I've also included an example, color-coded, highlighted example, and a rubric for you. So the first step is obviously the assignment itself. Once that link loads, at the top I have the standard, and the standard has two parts to it. It asks you first off to analyze what the difference is between the story and a film. And then the second part of the standard is to evaluate the choices made by the director or the actors. Was it a good choice making that difference or not? I've split those into two separate parts so that they don't get muddled together for you. So for task one, you are explaining what the difference is itself. Please do explain how it unfolds in the text and then how is the movie different. Sometimes, and in The Boy in the Striped Pajamas, there are things in the book that are not included in the movie, and then there are a couple of things that the movie adds in that weren't necessarily in the novel. So it's up to you which difference you want to select. There are a couple of solid examples of both of those different ways. Um, but you should have an explanation of what happens in the story, and then how is the movie different. The second part of that is to analyze the difference itself, not just saying what the difference is, which is your evidence, but also the analysis part of it. So you should have how it unfolds between the text and the film, and then you should have a couple of sentences explaining how does it affect the content of the story. And what I mean by the content of the story is things like characters, setting, or plot. If you're thinking about things like whether or not it was interesting, whether or not it was suspenseful, whether or not it was confusing. Those are more opinion-based ideas, and those are going to go in the valuation part of it, not in the analysis of the story part. So that leads into task two, which is evaluating whether or not you think making the movie different that way was a good idea or not. And the key part of this is to make sure that you justify why you feel that way. A lot of students put whether they think it was more suspenseful or interesting or what, what the difference was, but they don't justify whether or not it was a good choice. So once again, I would like you to focus more on the content of the story. How does the story itself change the characters or the setting or the plot? Um, but if you do mention things like suspense or interest, like I said, just make sure that you are justifying why it was more suspenseful or why it was more interesting to make the difference that way. So I will go back to the link and show you what I mean by that in the short story and film that we watched shortly after Christmas break. This was the society where everyone was tried to, the government tried to make everyone the same. And I've color-coded it to show where the different elements lie. The first part of it is neon yellow. That is just your topic sentence. That's just where you're simply identifying what the change is. The second part of that first step is um, explaining how it unfolds in the text and how it unfolds in the movie. In the text, basically, he was a superhero. He was seven feet tall. He could jump 30 feet in the air. And then in the film, he has a bomb. So I've explained text, I've explained the movie. The analysis for how it affects the content of the story, how does it change the characters or the setting or the plot? In that short story and film, by having the TVs reactivated, everyone saw 
how cruel the government really was. And it would clearly show then that Harrison knew what was going to happen to him by reactivating those TVs. That's how the story itself changes. The text did not include that hope or the bomb. The second part of it is the evaluation. Was the change a good idea? That's what I have in the lighter pinkish reddish color. Just simply state what you think. Like I said, the easy part that a lot of students forget to do or don't do is justifying why you think that was a good choice or not. So I go on to say in this yellowish part here that it gave a little bit more hope than what the text did that there might be a change to the society. If the story were to continue and show what happens the next day, the film has a much more positive outlook than the text did. So evaluate whether or not you think that change was a good idea. Once you are done with your movie analysis, once you've got everything typed out, rather than submitting through Google Classroom and turning it in there, you are going to be submitting it on turnitin.com. Like I said, I know it's been a while since we've used it, so I'm giving you a quick rundown of how to get there and what to do. So turnitin.com. When we created these accounts, I encouraged people to use their Google Classroom passwords or make sure that you created a password that you would for sure remember. In the upper right corner, we have our login button. If you'd linked it directly with your Google account, that should be a pretty slick way to get in. If you used a different password, make sure to get in there. If you are having troubles getting logged in, please either contact me. My Zoom meeting is at 1130. Um, you can also shoot me an email, or you could add a private comment on the assignment itself. In your view, you will have on the right-hand side here, um, a way to add private comments, or you can also add in comments like this. Um, but just let me know if the turnitin.com is not working. Um, ignore that step because I am going to go to the student view. So when you get logged into turnitin.com, you should see something that looks like this. If you have multiple classes, they'll be listed out below, but you should see Laverne English 8, 2019 to 2020, and you should see my name next to it. Go ahead and click on that class. Like I said, we initially used it for the first quarter book reports. And then you should also see Boy in the Striped Pajamas movie analysis as your next assignment. On the right hand side, there is a submit button. Once you are done typing it out in that Google Classroom assignment, you should be able to link it through here. So go ahead and click on the blue submit button. Make sure your first and last name are typed in. For the submission title, you don't really need to do much because your name is already attached. So I'll just title it as Movie Analysis. And then you will select it from your Google Drive. You'll probably get a couple of prompts asking you to choose which email account you are linking it to. And then do you want to allow turnitin.com to have permission to access? Just go ahead and OK both of those. Make sure you've got the correct assignment selected. Once you've got that, go in the Stripe Pajamas Movie Analysis, then you can click on the blue Upload button. It will ask you to confirm. So once you've got that and everything looks as it should be, go ahead and confirm at the very bottom. You should get some sort of message saying that it is successfully submitted. And then when you return to the assignment list and get back to here, that's when you should for sure know that there is um, an assignment there. If it asks you to resubmit something, obviously it's already there. So like I said, if you do have any questions or if you're having trouble with 
anything with a turnitin.com, just shoot me an email, send me a private message on Google Classroom, um, or enter my Zoom meeting 1130. Otherwise, have a nice long weekend, and we'll catch up once again on Tuesday. Take care.